Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle Wakalo Yanone. Welcome to the family. And my old subscribers, thank you for always returning. How have you guys been? I know I've been missing for quite a while now. Well, I'm going to update on that. Today is all about cooking. So my next video, I'll update what I've been missing. But for now, guys, I'm expecting guests tomorrow about, not about, we're 15 in total. So 13 guests plus me and my husband. That's 15 of ours. And it's tomorrow for lunch. By the way, right now is um, 6.30 p.m. And I've got a lot to do. So let me tell you what my menu is going to be for today. But first of all, I'd like to specify. Is that the word? Because I have fog, fog brain today. I'd like you all to know that this is not a recipe video, like step by step. I'm just, this is just a cook with me video. Of course, I'm going to show you guys as much as I can. But making a cook with me video also kind of slows me down. Yeah, I'm recording while cooking because it slows me down. But it's okay. I'm going to do this for you. Anyway, guys, I'm just going to let you know what my menu is for tomorrow. Um, I'm making lamb leg. I'm going to show you everything and how I cook everything basically how i prepare so i'm making lamb leg i'm also making chicken chicken I'm, I'm making three chickens i know one is going to be um like oriental one of the chickens will be oriental flavor then one will be like garlic and ginger i don't know what the third one will be yet but while i cook i will it will come it will come naturally you know and um, but for now i'm trying to marinate my lamb so i'm just going to show you guys what i've done to the lamb and what i'm gonna apply and how i'm gonna cook everything i'm also gonna make like um veggie platters uh, veggie platter it's not just veggies but also with crackers and blah blah with hummus by the way i haven't made hummus before it's gonna be my first time so yeah let's see how that goes wish me good luck and some baked potato i'm gonna make red velvet cake i don't know how i'm supposed to do this like between tonight and tomorrow morning but the lord is my strength anyway let's get straight to it let me show you guys what i'm doing um so guys this is my lamb leg as you can see i've cut it what i did let me show you guys how i cut it sorry i didn't show you guys this part but i just cut straight 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 and, oops, and then to the side and then side 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 the reason i'm doing this is for all the flavors to go in well as you can see i've put together my this is salt pepper how did they say bouillon cube we will call it magidico and uh, different spices blended together um oregano rosemary um yeah and salt so i'm just gonna rub it all on the um on the lamb and as you can see i also put some olive oil this is olive oil i drizzled some olive oil and after i do everything i'm gonna leave in the fridge to marinate overnight so yeah let's get to it. oh my goodness i thought i was recording anyway um yeah so as you can see i'm rubbing my um spices my salt pepper garlic no not garlic yeah there's actually dried garlic in this dried ginger in this mixture i make this mix i make this mixture once a month for all my grills and meat so yeah and i'm just gonna rub it all over as you can see it's not looking so nice now but trust me when it comes out of your oven you understand and i made this whole so the flavors can actually go inside you know you rub the flavors inside or the salt and everything you know so it'll be very tasteful when it comes out of the oven so i'm just gonna turn it around and just so you guys know um i didn't cut the back but i have to draw my um drop my camera to show you guys so you see the back is still intact it's just for that part for the flavors yes and make sure you rub everything thoroughly you know rub 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 i'm holding my camera with one hand it's so annoying i mean of all this today this is my tripod i decided to be unfortunate i don't know I so good rub 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 and i can i have other tripods i'm just too lazy it's not lazy but i don't have time i still have to bake and stuff so yeah just rub 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 i need to rub some garlic powder on it because lamb hmm, lamb tastes better with garlic so just open yeah and I really don't get why my tripod is i'm almost giving up on making this video because it is really slowing me down out i've done a lot now and my tripod is misbehaving anyway guys i'm just gonna add some garlic ginger and this is sage leaves i'm just going to add three sage leaves so yeah as you can see i just wash my hands because this i want to do by hand so i'm going to insert ginger in the holes i'll just get on with it and probably see my camera keeps going left hey <laughs> god why all right 
بگذارید می دیگه از کتن I was making this video, I would have been done with this a long time ago. So, another one. Just for information, like I said, sage is very, sage is strong. Sage is very strong, so you don't need more than this. And I don't know if you can see, but this, my lamb, is very big. Hence why I'm using three. So, let's see. All this for flavor. So beautiful. Oh my god every time i feel i'm recording i'm not it's really <sighs> anyway so yeah this is my meat stock and coconut i really thought i was recording this is coconut milk um the canned one it's not really canned this one was in the sachet but i used two small ones so just say about 400 ml and my chicken stock so i'm just gonna parboil it for my um fried rice and when making fried rice i like to parboil overnight then put the rice in the fridge and tomorrow it will be um what's the word not sticky um you know what i mean very fluffy voila so i'm gonna boil this now and wash my once it boils i'm gonna add my washed that's my tea rice i'm adding my washed rice see i don't know if you guys can see it at all it's my wash basmati rice, so I'm adding it now to this to cut boil and yeah, prepping for tomorrow. After it cools down, I'm going to put it in the fridge to fluff up. I know this pot is small, but I can't be bothered changing it. Manage it. It's <laughs> filled up to the brim. like one mugu of rice. If you're Nigerian, you know what one mugu of rice is. Why the small pot, Michelle? Why, why, why? I have to manage that I said it. All right. Okay, ducks. Finish cutting my garlic or peeling my garlic. I hate it. Guys, I really, really hate peeling garlic. I don't know if you guys can see my face anyway so i was gonna make dinner tonight i was gonna make some um, spaghetti with prawns but at this point i don't have the time to pause and cook dinner and wash dishes and stuff again because i still have to bake tonight i still have to marinate three chickens i have to cut my veggies yeah it's a lot i asked my husband to get me red bull i need that energy right now Anyway, I'll just keep listening to my music while I cook. I don't want to bore you guys with this stuff. Mm, with the unimportant part, obviously. Mm. Guys, I told you I have um, three chickens. So I'm going to do three different flavors. I don't know if you guys can see me. One is going to be ginger, garlic, and lemon. Yes, obviously with other spices, but the main ingredients will be ginger, garlic, and lemon. 
one will be mustard chicken yeah and then another one will be oriental style which is um so my garlic and lemon oriental style with vinegar so yeah i hope you guys see hope you guys can see what i'm doing yes i'll tell you what it's the first time i'm doing cook with me and seriously i need a, a good tripod that i can hang somewhere or just my tripods are not just doing it for me you know it's not giving what it's supposed to be but it's all good it's okay and yeah i'm just gonna pound this on my small mortar and uh, marinate my chicken my first chicken actually okay so guys i was literally just asking myself why i was using a mortar when i have this thing to blend so i've transferred my garlic and ginger in here and I'm gonna blend it Some chicken stock you get my nigerian people my gears you all know it i don't want to speak a lot okay so that's literally it looks more but it's not that's like one cube of my meat. add my mixed grilled salt tell me if you want me to make a video of how i make my grilling salt even though now i don't know where i dumped it okay it's here it's not it's, it's just dry pepper dry onions garlic different herbs oregano uh, rosemary um, parsley all dried obviously parsley so whatever you herbs you like mix it with salt and maggi black pepper white pepper and blend oh, that thing can be so scary sometimes yeah so that's what i do to save me blending in small batches every time i want to cook you know I just do this. I do this like once a month because I grill a lot. Uh, so there, I'm going to put that. I don't want to put too much. I don't want the flavor to overshadow my my garlic. Yeah, I think that's just enough. So in there, there's already white and black pepper, but I'm still gonna add some. I'm gonna add some dry garlic again and some white pepper i love cooking with white pepper not a lot because there's a lot of white pepper in there already so this is enough oh, that's my olive oil just gonna add some olive oil oh my god i need to open a new bottle there's nothing here basically not a lot because chicken has oil already you all know that right some olive oil at all it's just like one tablespoon needed jesus why does it have to be so hard just gonna add some and yeah that will do and it's ready i'm just gonna marinate my chicken now using this to rub it around the chicken and i'm wondering i'm sure sorry i forgot to add a little i want to add a little bit of lemon juice although i'm using fresh lemon as well but the fresh lemon is going to be like a stuffing for the chicken so in this marinade i'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice start to give a bit of zing yeah that's enough you know yeah that's that was that lemon juice so just a bit stir 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 and yeah just rub it around the chicken mm, this is going to be so yummy 
So like I said, I'm making three flavors, no? The chicken, I have three chickens. Is it flavor? You guys know what I mean. So lemon, garlic, and ginger. And then one oriental style with vinegar. And then the last one, French style with mustard. Mustard and a little, little. Uh, oriental style, oh, it's not vinegar. I meant oriental style with soya sauce. And then the last one is French style with a bit of vinegar and um, mustard, see. So this is the first one. And of course, you guys know, I'm not cooking this today either. I'm just leaving it to marinate. If you want your meat to be tasty, any type of meat at all, marinate it for a few hours first or overnight. So I'm doing this overnight. I have to wake up very early tomorrow to start because I still have to do the lamb. There's one oven I have. so And it's lunch also for 1.30. So yeah. I know I'm not going to sleep about this night, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I like to host. I like to cook. I know we want people to appreciate my food as well. And not just for appreciation sake, but because I know I look well, you know. My god, my rice is actually ready. Mm. My rice is ready now. Oh my god, see the pot. Oh yeah, the rice is definitely ready now. Lord have mercy, this pot is so small, see? But it's fine because it's going to go in the fridge later, but even not in this pot, so it's okay. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can boil basmati rice. Mmm! Mm. Mm. So yummy guys. So oh my god, that is so good. Mm. Okay. Time to wrap this chicken in foil paper. I'm going to cook it in the foil tomorrow. I'm cooking the three at once actually tomorrow. So foil paper, foil paper. Where did I keep it? I've got everything everywhere. It's not sad yet. My the kitchen is small guys. That's why I struggle with space. So one is what I do. This I got for visitors, huh? Yeah. Okay, this is how I wrap my chicken and fish and everything else, as you can see. So pop the chicken in there, add the remaining sauce, and this is where I put my lemon. I'm going to cut my lemon into wedges and just stuff in the middle. You know? mm, this is going to be so yummy. And after this, I'm going to do the second marinade wedges. I'll still use the same thing. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh my god, this rice tastes so good and I'm hungry, so I'd rather not just go there. So, so this is going to go like this, straight in the oven. Straight in the oven tomorrow. So that's one chicken. The second one is mustard. I'm going to use the same plate. Second one is mustard and... Um, mustard and some apple cider vinegar the same base flavors or the same base spice that i use my special yes and yeah but the main ingredient is mustard and apple cider vinegar so let's go but first i need to blend some more ginger because i don't have any more ginger and garlic and you guys know actually i'm not putting a lot of ginger in this just tiny tiny but i cannot cook without garlic so yeah let me blend guys i had to transform my parboiled rice in the white pot white pot white white yeah because if i didn't do that you know because of the way the rice was compressed and obviously there's still steam it will cook more than i want it to cook see i'm trying to get rid of the steam because i don't want it to continue cooking so i'll just put this up here before i continue with my ginger and garlic oh this guy is tastes so good hopefully you guys can taste it i just i 
just finished blending my garlic, so now I'm marinating. This is the type of um, mustard I like to use for my mustard chicken. This is the one with seeds that is not blended well, or what's the word? Yeah, it's not very smooth. You know, there's a very smooth one, but this is not the smooth one, so I don't know. Oh, this is my spoon. Why is it so, Jesus Christ, I need a knife for this. <sighs> Thinking of everything I have to do tonight is giving me anxiety, but it's okay. When I'm done marinating, I'm going to start baking. So, this is my mustard chicken. So, in there is garlic, mustard. I'm going to add a little bit of vinegar. Yeah, this is the French style. I think I'm going to add one tablespoon of vinegar. Voila, that's all. I'm going to use the spoon anyway. One tablespoon of vinegar. This is apple cider vinegar. Um, obviously, my base as usual. My base, yeah. My base, which is the mix I make you now with different herbs. So, yeah, that's fine. We still don't want it to overpower. And, yeah, some oil, and that's it. Oh, and some salt, and of course, bouillon cube, stock cube, whatever you guys choose to call it, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, I'm going to clear up this place after I finish my reading this chicken. I don't like cooking when everywhere is scattered. I like to drop something to drop all my spoons as well. Yeah, okay. so. Again, I'll use chicken. You see, I have chicken stock and I have um, chicken stock powder and I have beef. But of course, I'm cooking chicken. Not that it matters, but normally I prefer beef. But when I'm cooking chicken, I use chicken. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Two tablespoons. Uh, two teaspoons. It's not even proper teaspoon. See, like it's very tiny in case you guys think, ah, this guy is using a lot. See, it's less than a teaspoon. This is like half a teaspoon. So yeah, and some salt, and I'm done with that. And some, some salt, and that is it for the second chicken, which is again our mustard chicken, no? I don't want to add them. Um, lot of oil see what it looks like it's just the paste i don't know if you guys can see it see it's a paste i don't add too much oil because chicken already has oil like you all know so oh my god that chicken i forgot to put the lemon in the middle but you know what at this point i'm late i'm not going to even bother opening it but thank god i already added lemon juice that was a clever move um so voila I'm washed already yeah before people come for me so again we did the same thing we did to chicken number one marinate it add the sauce everywhere yep ah you know that's the thing i won't even know tomorrow which is which except when i open it it doesn't matter when I open it halfway to see how the cooking is going, but it's fine. Once I open it, I'll know. But for tonight, it's not necessary to know. Just gonna wash my hand, wrap, and do the last one so I can clean and get on with other things. Wash my hand again. And Mr. Yanone is coming to use the kitchen very soon. I like to stir this my rice because I know. I don't want it to cook, so I keep stirring so the steam hiding on that can come out because it's the steam that cooks the rice, no? So voila. Mm, guys, this rice, I wish you could taste it. It tastes so good. Okay. Chicken number two is good to go. I just have to pop this mustard in the fridge now. Yes, guys, once your mustard is open, make sure you pop it in the fridge. Make sure you pop it. Put all the sauce. Make sure the sauce doesn't escape. Mm. So this is mustard chicken. 
This song is ringing in my head. I don't know why, but I love the song anyway. It's Simi Ayo. Ayo by Simi. Okay. So we do the same way. The same wrapping we did that time. Wrap it the same way. And bam. Again, I don't want the juices to run out, especially because I'm cooking the three at the same time. Hopefully, yeah. See if it's possible. To be honest, at this point, I don't know if I'm gonna cook the chicken first or the lamb first. I think I'll cook the chicken first tomorrow before the lamb. And now I need to rinse or wash, more like wash that plate before I mix the next chicken because that one is um soy sauce soy sauce have i told you guys that when we planned this thing originally it was only like seven people not seven like seven and me and my husband nine and we postponed it the dinner party is supposed to be for my birthday but my birthday was almost two weeks ago so call it belated birthday party birthday lunch so we started with Seven guests plus me and Fabio. That's nine. Every day it keeps increasing. Now, guess how many people are coming? 14. Then plus me and Fabio, 16. <laughs> I don't know how we are going to handle it. Also, in this our space, but it's all right. We, sh we shall still handle it. Soy sauce, where are they? Oh no, this is my smoke. Hmm, I don't know if I should add. No, I don't want to add smoky flavor. Where is my soy sauce board? Oh, yeah. This is soy sauce I'm going to be using today. So check it out. On um, another way to do this is actually to cook it on the fire first for a bit to reduce the cooking cooking time in the oven. I would have done this, but to be honest, I, I can't make one one chicken tomorrow. So I'm just cooking everything together. And yeah, what is? But if I was just going to make for me and Fabio, I would have made some, as usual, garlic and ginger. I don't want to put too much. Because I also need some garlic and ginger for my rice. Okay. Oh, no. I need some garlic and ginger for my... Oh, no. I need only garlic, actually, for my hummus. How do you pronounce it? Homos, homos. See, pronouncing like a bush again. Anyway, I shall return this and again add my base, my base, you know, to my base spices already. Don't worry, it won't change the flavor. And yeah, that's it. Very simple. No. Not activity. again a little bit of oil normally i put my oil here but now i don't even have time to be pouring oil dirty tomorrow and since i'm going to be cooking with a lot i use olive oil to cook by the way um so since i'm going to cook with a lot i i don't need to do that because just for the house it's a different case so yeah again add some uh you all know that um, this thing has salt already right vinegar I'm just gonna add very tiny, just one spoon of this maggi because I don't want it to be too salty. Just one spoon of that maggi in there and we're good to go. Yeah, so it's a bit runny. It's not too runny, see? I don't know if you can see. I don't know what to use to describe this texture like a bono soup if you're Nigerian. <laughs> so yeah, and yeah, I'm done with this. Again, I'm just gonna um what's the word? Wrap it. I don't want this video to be too long. So after this chicken, I'm just gonna do two bits and pieces. I have to do. I can't record everything, unfortunately, or else the video will be too long. And really, if I wasn't recording, I would have been done by now. I still have to bake, and it's already almost 9 p.m. Great. <laughs> The chicken, guys. I already washed the chicken now and put them back here, just so you know. Where you will not start saying, ah, 
la, 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 la. And I got the chicken from the pool, poultry, pulleteria, whatever they call them here in Italy. Proper, so it's fresh, fresh, fresh from the market. So I think I need a spoon for this one. I need to rinse the spoon. Because I need to put the other one. I need a spoon just so I can put the juice in the belly. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my lord. This is going to be so yummy. Yes. So yummy. And by the way, when I see Oriental style, this remix, eh? Because. The oriental, the real oriental style, you put sugar. Obviously, I do not want to put sugar, no? Without sugar in it. So, I don't want it to be sweet. I want it to be salty. Savory, no? Savory taste. What is it called? Salted, salty, whatever. Guys, today I did you not. I've got four grades. Even in school, like, the teacher was not asking me what's going on. Here. But two teachers, because we have two different teachers to two hours. Because it's not just me. That's not normal me chair, you know. I just have four brain today. Nothing is coming to my brain. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going through a lot of emotional. Or should I say mental? A bit of mental breakdown. So, yeah. It's okay. It'll be fine. I'm sure we, have, we all have those days, right? It's like ups and downs. So, yeah. God has always seen me through and he will see me through, so yeah. That's why I'm also excited about hosting people tomorrow, you know, just to bit of something different. This I have to cover very well because this has a lot of runny liquid. Again, I need um thingy to clean. It has a lot of runny liquid, so yeah. After wrapping this, I'm done with my chicken. Yeah, I've got, I have a lot of stuff I'm actually not using here. But has no business being here right now. I'm gonna pop this in the middle. Oh my god. I wish I had something to just use to hold that thing to stay in. To hold the juice. Okay, you know, the juice has started running out. But that ain't gonna happen. And I have to wrap it well because I'm putting in the fridge. I don't want my fridge to be messy. I cleaned the fridge last night, like. like Thoroughly, since we bought this fridge, I have cleaned it, but not the way I cleaned it yesterday. So, the last thing I want to do right now is make a mess, especially now with soy sauce. It's going to be sticky and brown and annoying. So, oh Lord, let's secure the chicken. Yeah, we get to go. So, imagine how all this chicken, my three chickens, will marinate tomorrow. See? One. Two and three. Now I have to find space in the fridge to put them. Because that's one thing I'm struggling with now is space. So yeah, those are my three chickens. And yeah, what do I have? I have to clean? I have to clean. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that stuff. So I'll pause. So this is the next morning. I actually woke up earlier to do some things. As you can see, I just finished um, making my cake with frosting and strawberries on it. It's red velvet cake. Sorry, I couldn't show you guys that. I started last night, you know. And yeah, let me show you. My house is scattered. My fruit platter appetizers. So I'm trying to make a platter with hummus. With hummus, I'm going to put crackers and everything. So when I'm done, I'll show you guys. And yeah, I'm just going to start cooking my jollof rice. <laughs> Jesus. So guys, our lamb is ready. And yeah. I cooked it for a bit on its own, then later I put some veggies on there so the liquid can drip inside and I'll use this to make gravy with red wine. So yeah, this is, everything is coming on nicely. Let me show you guys my platter. My screen is a bit dirty, but this is the appetizers. Looks really nice, no? Huh? So yeah, I know. So one chicken is out of the oven. This is the one with the vinegar. I want to cover it now because um, I don't want it to be cold. It's almost 1 p.m. Guests are starting to arrive at half one. So this is the mustard one. Yeah, and they all taste so good. So, so good. Look at that. So 
So this is the last one. This is the garlic and ginger one. And they all taste so, so good. Yeah, I'll just cover them up to keep the heat. So as you can see, the party is over, guys. By the way, I forgot to show you guys Fabio's lasagna. Fabio made wonderful lasagna, like two of this. And this is what is left. It's so yummy. So I forgot to show you guys earlier. And yeah, the house is a mess right now. I've packed all I can pack. And see, everybody really enjoyed it. It was amazing. And yeah, anyway. I hope you enjoyed this vlog guys not a vlog actually i hope you enjoyed let me show you guys my drip but right now i'm just going to bed it's not bad i'm going to relax i'm tired it's almost 11 p.m so yeah um our last guest left around what baby around half nine there about nine nine thirty and yeah it was a good day everybody enjoyed i enjoyed having guests around me and Fabio enjoyed hosting and yeah, thank you so much guys. Um, if you're new to my channel, again, you're welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe and yeah, I love you all and I shall see you all in my next video.